Kristallnacht, or the Night of Broken Glass, was the wave of violent anti-Jewish pogroms on November 9th and 10th of 1938. It took place throughout Germany, annexed Austria, and in areas of Czechoslovakia recently occupied by German troops. Kristallnacht owes its name to the shards of shattered glass from the windows of synagogues, homes, and Jewish-owned businesses that lined German streets in the wake of the pogrom. On November 7, 1938, Ernst von Rath, a German embassy official stationed in Paris, was assassinated by Herschel Grimspan, a 17-year-old Polish Jew living illegally in Paris. Grimspan revengefully shot the diplomat after witnessing the expulsion of not only his parents, but thousands of Jews of Polish citizenship living in the German Reich. Von Rath died on November 9, 1938. The same day, at a meeting of Nazi party leadership, Propaganda Minister Joseph Goebbels, the chief instigator of the Kristallnacht pogroms, suggested that world Jewry had conspired to commit the assassination and ordered that any demonstration, while not organized by the Nazi party, shall not be hampered. Newspapers reported otherwise. After Goebbels' speech, violence erupted in various parts of the Reich. Paramilitary, or SA, and Hitler Youth units throughout Germany and its annexed territories destroyed Jewish-owned homes and businesses. Jewish artifacts were confiscated, and many young, healthy Jewish men were arrested and filled local jails. The rioters destroyed 267 synagogues throughout Germany, Austria, and the Sudetenland. Many synagogues burned throughout the night in full view of public and of local firefighters who had received orders to intervene only to prevent flames from spreading to nearby buildings. SA and Hitler Youth members shattered shop windows of an estimated 7,500 Jewish-owned commercial establishments and looted their wares. Jewish cemeteries became a particular object of desecration in many regions. Mobs of SA men roamed the streets, attacking Jews in their houses and forcing Jews they encountered to perform acts of public humiliation. Kristallnacht claimed the lives of at least 91 Jews. As the pogrom spread, units of the SS and Gestapo, the secret state police, arrested up to 30,000 Jewish males and transferred most of them from local prisons to Dachau and Buchenwald, as well as other concentration camps. In the immediate aftermath of the pogrom, measures were introduced to eliminate Jews and perceived Jewish influence from the German economic sphere. The German government announced that the Jews were to blame for the pogrom imposing a fine of 400 million U.S. dollars on the German Jewish community. German education officials expelled Jewish children still attending German schools. The German government announced laws that enforced Aryanization policy, the transfer of Jewish-owned enterprises and property to the Aryan ownership. The events of Kristallnacht represented one of the most important turning points in Nazi anti-Semitic policy. The Nazi regime moved eventually towards policies of forced immigration and finally toward the realization of a Germany free of Jews by deportation of the Jewish population to the East. It is important to understand and remember these events. It is also important to honor those that lived and died during this destructive part of history. It's probably most critical that we teach the lessons so that it may never happen again.